Have you ever forgotten your phone? When did you realize you'd forgotten it? I'm guessing you didn't just smack your forehead and exclaim, Damn! A propos of nothing. The realization probably didn't even dawn on you spontaneously. More likely, you reached for your phone, pawing open your pocket or handbag, and were momentarily confused by it not being there. Then you did a mental restep of the morning's events. Shit. In my case, my phone's alarm woke me up as normal, but the battery was lower than I expected. It was a new phone, and it had this annoying habit of leaving applications running that drain its power overnight. So I put it on the charge while I showered instead of into my bag like normal. It was a momentary slip from the routine, but that's all it took. Once I was in the shower, my brain went back into the routine it follows every morning, and that was it. Forgotten. This wasn't me just being clumsy, as I later researched. It's a recognized behavioral function. Your brain doesn't work on just one level. It works on many. Like, when you're walking somewhere, you think about your destination and avoiding hazards, but you don't need to think about keeping your legs moving properly. If you did, the entire world would turn into a massive, hilarious flop cosplay. I wasn't thinking about regulating my breathing, I was thinking about whether or not I should grab a coffee on the way to work. I did. I wasn't thinking about moving my breakfast through my intestines, I was wondering if I'd finish on time to pick up my daughter Emily from the nursery or get stuck with another late fee. This is the thing. There's a level of your brain that quietly deals with the routine so that the rest of it can think about other things. Think about it. Think about your last commute. What do you actually remember? Little, if anything, probably. Most common journeys blur together, and recalling anyone in particular is scientifically proven to be difficult. Do something enough, it becomes routine. Keep doing it, and it stops being processed by the thinking part of the brain getting relegated to another part dedicated to dealing with it. Your brain keeps doing it without you thinking about it. Soon, you'll think about your route to work as much as you think about keeping your legs moving when you walk, as in, not at all. Most people call it autopilot, but there's the danger there. If you have a break in your routine, your ability to remember and account for the break is only as good as your ability to stop your brain going into routine mode. My ability to remember my phone had been on the counter was only as reliable as my ability to stop my brain entering morning routine mode, which would dictate that my phone is actually in my bag. But I didn't stop my brain entering routine mode. I got in the shower as normal, routine started, exception forgotten. Autopilot engaged. My brain was back in the routine. I showered, I shaved, the radio forecast, amazing weather. I gave Emily her breakfast and loaded her into the car. She was so adorable that morning, but she complained about the bad sun blinding her and saying it stopped her from having a little sleep on the way to the nursery. And I left. That was the routine. It didn't matter that my phone was on the counter, charging silently, my brain was in the routine, and it said my phone was in my bag. This is why I forgot my phone. Not clumsiness, not negligence. Nothing more than my brain entering routine mode and overriding the exception. Autopilot engaged. I left for work. It was swaltingly hot day already. The bad sun had been burning since my traitorously absent phone woke me. The steering wheel was burning hot to the touch when I sat down. I think I heard Emily shift over behind the driver's seat to get out of the glare. But I got to work, submitted the report, attended the morning meeting. It wasn't until I took a quick coffee break and reached for my phone that the illusion shattered. I did a mental restep. I remember the dying battery. I remember putting it on a charge. I remember leaving it there. My phone was on the counter. Autopilot disengaged. Again, therein lies the danger. Until you have that moment, 
That moment you reach for your phone and shatter the illusion, that part of the brain is still in routine mode. It has no reason to question the facts of the routine. That is why it's routine. Attrition of repetition. It's not as if anyone could say, Why didn't you remember your phone? Didn't it occur to you? How could you forget? You must be negligent. To do so would miss the point. My brain was telling me that the routine had been completed as normal, despite the fact that it hadn't. It wasn't that I'd forgotten my phone. According to my brain, according to the routine, my phone was in my bag. Why would I think to question it? Why would I check? Why would I suddenly remember out of nowhere that my phone was on the counter? My brain was wired into the routine, and the routine was that my phone was in my bag. The day continued to bake. The morning haze gave way to the relentless fever heat of the afternoon. Tarmac bubbled. Direct beams of heat threatened to crack the pavement. People swapped coffees for iced smoothies. Jackets were discarded, sleeves rolled up, ties loosened, brows mopped. The park slowly filled in with sunbathers and barbecues. Window frames threatened to warp, the thermometer continued to swell. Thank fuck the offices were air conditioned. But, as ever, the furthest of the day gave way to a cooler evening. Another day, another dollar. Still cursing myself for forgetting my phone, I drove home. The day's heat had baked the inside of the car, releasing a horrible smell from somewhere. When I arrived on the driveway, the stones crunching comfortably under my tires, my wife greeted me at the door. Where's Emily? Fuck. As if the phone wasn't bad enough, after everything, I'd left Emily at the fucking nursery. I immediately sped to the building. I got to the door and started practicing my excuses, wondering vainly if I could charm my way out of a late fee. But that's when I saw a piece of paper stuck to it. Due to vandalism overnight, please use side door today only. For night? What? The door was fine this morning. I froze. My knees shook. Vandals, a change in the routine. My phone was on the counter. I hadn't been here this morning. My phone was on the counter. I'd driven past because I was drinking my coffee. I did not drop off Emily. My phone was on the counter. She'd moved her seat. I hadn't seen her in the mirror. My phone was on the counter. She'd fallen asleep out of the bad sun. She didn't speak when I drove past the nursery. My phone was on the counter. She changed the routine. My phone was on the counter. She changed the routine and I'd forgotten to drop her off. My phone was on the counter. Nine hours. That car, that baking sun, no air, no water, no power, no help, that heat. A steering wheel too hot to touch. That smell. I walked to the car door. Numb. Shock. I opened the car door. My phone was on the counter. And my daughter was dead. Autopilot disengaged.